It is now day three of Iceland's brand new volcanic eruption, which is ongoing at the Fagradalsvík volcano 27 kilometers or 16.8 miles southwest of Reykjavik. The last 24 hours have seen a continuing decrease in eruptive intensity and lava output, as not only is a mere one of the three fissures still active, but I estimate that lava output has dropped to around 13% of its original rate of effusion, translating to approximately 8 cubic meters per second. Ground deformation seemingly supports the hypothesis of a more limited eruption, and here is why. As magma intrudes into the crust, it pushes up overlying rock partially through a displacement. If a volcanic eruption is ongoing and uplift is detected, it indicates that the supply of magma into the subsurface is higher than the rate lava is erupting at. Yet, if the opposite is the case, where ground subsidence is detected during an eruption, it means that the eruption rate is higher than the supply of molten rock to the subsurface. Such a ground subsidence has been ongoing ever since Fagradolsviak's latest eruption began, which did not occur during the majority of its short-lived 2022 eruption. This suggests two possibilities. Either, one, we are already seeing the beginning of the end of this spectacular eruption, and we might soon reach a point where lava erupts intermittently rather than continuously. Or, two, magma is still intruding into the subsurface via a dike at a few kilometers in depth, and this might have expanded outwards rather than upwards, resulting in a decreasing eruptive rate on the surface. You might note that while volcanic earthquake activity has diminished since the eruption began, the largest quakes which have occurred since then have largely been centered around Kylier. This is not a coincidence as it appears that the dike has progressed northwards by 1,000 meters going from 3,000 to 4,000 meters in length. Thus, it is plausible but not guaranteed that the northern part of the fissure could reach the surface and erupt at a rate similar to witnessed during July 10th, 2023. If a fissure expansion was to occur, it could be preceded by increased air turbulence above an initial eruption site, much like hot air rising from a paved road on a warm day, only to be followed by smoke. Like the other volcanoes on Iceland's Reykjanes Peninsula, Fagradolsviak could be described as a fissure complex where no vents erupt more than once, and eruptions occur along chains of activity which parallel regional stresses. The somewhat unusual nature of the peninsula since it represents an above sea level portion of the mid-ocean ridge, aka a divergent plate boundary, combined with residual material from a fairly close mantle hotspot is the cause of this. Thus, the Fagradolsviak volcano, which was only recently realized to be a unique volcanic system, covers an area of approximately 58 square kilometers or 22.4 square miles. Here is how it compares to other active volcanic complexes on the peninsula, which are also chains of fissures and spatter cones. I have a quick update regarding a separate volcanic system offshore of the Reckonez Peninsula known as Eldi. During the early stages of Fagradolsviak's eruption, its alert level was raised to yellow due to more than 300 earthquakes striking adjacent to one of its vents. Yet, this earthquake swarm has now seemingly ended, suggesting that what was witnessed was merely related to changing pressures caused by the magmatic intrusion at Fagradolsviak, so its alert level was lowered back to green. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank this channel's patrons on Patreon and channel members on YouTube.